Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about 10 winter wardrobe essentials for when the weather starts to get really, really cold. This isn't an all-encompassing list, there are definitely some more winter wardrobe essentials out there, but these are the 10 items that I find myself reaching for the most when the weather starts to get really, really chilly, the first of which is a wrap coat. I'm a really, really big fan of the Ted Baker coat. This one is a blend of cashmere and wool. It has the most gorgeous, stunning lining, absolutely beautiful. And I love wearing this coat. It's really, really smart, so completely appropriate for work, but it just works for a number of different occasions. It's a really, really timeless style, so it works for the office, as I said, but also for if you were to go on a night out or if you were to go out to dinner. I even wear it on dog walks, although I am very, very careful <laughs> if we're going somewhere that's really muddy. But what I'm getting at is that I wear this for absolutely every single occasion. I wear it all the time, especially at the moment because it's got that cashmere blend in there. It is a really, really warm coat, so it's doing really, really well at keeping me warm while the weather's getting that little bit chillier. I went for this really nice classic camel colour, but I would recommend getting a black one as well, just for things like dog walks, so that you can still wear the style of coat but just be a little bit less precious about getting stains on it. It's also belted which is great because it really nips you in at the waist and just gives you that really lovely hourglass figure. My second winter wardrobe essential is a pair of over the knee boots. Now I'm not going to show you my over the knee boots because they are currently in a bag in the car <laughs> to remind me to finally take them to the cobblers. Although to be honest I think they're probably past being repaired now. I think they just need to be replaced. But I'm going to pop a picture up here of a nice pair of over the knee boots that I found online and I'll link them down below for you. But you can see the actual pair of over the knee boots that I own in my how to style over the knee boots video so I will link that down below for you as well and I'll pop it up here so that you can just click on there. Once you've finished watching this video, make sure you watch this one to the end first. The trick to keeping warm in winter is to just have as many layers of clothing as possible. Obviously, the more material that's on your skin, the warmer you're going to be, which is why over the knee boots are great because you can wear them over a pair of trousers or jeans. I really like to wear them with the Reese trousers that I'm wearing now, but you can also wear them over a pair of tights with a dress and it just keeps you that little bit extra warm. So you can still wear your really cute, pretty dresses even when the weather's getting really, really cold. And of course, over the knee boots look really, really stylish as well. If you're not sure how to style them, they honestly go with everything. And I honestly never thought that I would be able to wear over the knee boots because I've got quite big calves. I tend to struggle to get Long boots over my legs but all I did was I ordered a few pairs and I sized up I'm normally a size 5 but I went for a size 6 speaking of boots the next winter wardrobe essential in my opinion is a pair of ankle boots and I have a few pairs to show you today here's my Jules boots these are a lovely chocolate brown with this gorgeous leopard print stripe at the back and then I also have this Doc Martin pair that is actually really really good for snow you wouldn't believe it with that heel on there but because it's got such grip on the bottom I've actually walked home from work in the snow and I wore these the whole way and I didn't slip in the snow it literally just snowed so it was really really icy I wouldn't normally recommend wearing this height heel in the snow but if it's from Doc Martin, you'll probably be fine. I also have a pair of black ankle boots here from Topshop, but they're kind of hidden away, so I won't show you those. But as you can see, I really, really love ankle boots. I think they are such a really good winter wardrobe essential. I don't really wear shoes in winter, to be honest. I tend to just stick to boots because I think you can go for so many different styles. You can have a really, really casual boot, like this Chelsea boot or the Doc Martens are really casual as well. But then I've got my pair of black boots, which are quite smart and would work perfectly well for the office. A stiletto boots would be really, really nice for a night out as well. I think there are so, so many different ways that you can style different pairs of ankle boots, and I think everyone should have a pair of ankle boots in their wardrobe. If you're not very good at walking in heels as well, then boots are quite a good place to start and to get you used to the sensation of walking in heels because you've obviously got a lot more support in an ankle boot than you have in a pair of stiletto court shoes. Speaking of stiletto shoes, I have another winter wardrobe essential here, which is a pair of strappy party shoes. And the reason I say strappy party shoes is because they are much more secure and easy to walk in than something like a court shoe, something that is really quite uncomfortable, often has a toe that pinches. Something like this is supporting you in much more points on the foot so you end up having a much more enjoyable night because you're not putting plasters on blisters the whole time. These are just from Quiz, they were £20 and I got them in a silver because I knew, well technically I got them for my wedding, <laughs> but I wanted a pair of shoes I would wear again and I knew that a pair of sparkly silver shoes would serve me really really well over winter because it's the festive period. Ordinarily, obviously this year is a bit different, but ordinarily you would be going out to a lot more events than you do for the rest of the year or I know I do, Christmas does tend to be my kind of busier time in terms of drinks so a pair of strappy sandals to make sure you're comfortable but also feeling really really glam is an essential over Christmas. Another thing that I really really want to mention in this video is a pair of 
ear masks but these ones I absolutely love they're from Ted Baker and as you can see they are absolutely gorgeous I look like a little marshmallow these are light grey and pale pink I'm not sure if they still do these same ones but um, they do lots of different colours really I should have gone for black <laughs> a neutral colour not that these aren't really neutral but um, black is obviously very uniform goes with everything I have to be quite careful what coats I wear with these ones I don't feel that they go as well with all colours as something like a black pair would have done but I absolutely love them and although sometimes people do giggle at me <laughs> what I love about them is although I love hats I think they're really really stylish the problem that I have is that they mess up my hair particularly at the moment because whenever I go out for a dog walk I tend to take an outfit photo for my Instagram account make sure you're following me but because I'm taking photos when I'm out I don't want to be taking hats off for outfit photos all the time and having my hair really messy or I don't want to be keeping the hat on in every single photo because if I'm taking a few on the same walk I want to kind of mix it up a bit it must don't mess up your hair and also they keep you so so snuggly and warm what I used to hate so whenever I was walking to work in the mornings you know on those mornings when it is bitter cold and you just don't want to leave the house and it's absolutely horrible the one area that always got so cold were the tips of my ears and it would become painful like they would be frozen and it would give me a headache and I absolutely hated it and ever since I bought a pair of earmuffs I can't remember the last time I had that sensation of having really really freezing cold ears. Hats can help with that to an extent but I think because these are really fluffy as well it really really does the job excellently and as I said doesn't mess up your hair. My next two wardrobe essentials are both summed up by the jumper that I'm wearing right now. So the first is a roll neck jumper and the second is a cashmere jumper or a cashmere cardigan. Just basically anything made of cashmere and if it can be a roll neck jumper then even better because it will keep you honestly so so snugly and warm and what's wonderful about cashmere is that even though it is keeping you so warm it's not really bulky look how thin that is you would look at that and think there is no way that is going to keep me warm through winter but it definitely does it's absolutely lovely and it feels so so soft and comfortable on the skin i spent around 50 pounds on this knit um back in i think it was the spring sales which is a really really good time to pick up cashmere now you might think that 50 pounds is quite a lot to spend on quite a basic piece but honestly i'm so so glad that i did i wear this all the time i absolutely love it and it is so so soft and snuggly wearing cashmere in itself i would say is a bit of a cold weather hack but another thing that i like to do is to tuck it into whatever i'm wearing because i feel like the less skin on show in the cold weather the warmer you're going to be so whenever I'm going out and it's a really really cold day I basically try to cover myself up <laughs> as much as possible so I'll wear a roll neck I'll wear a nice pair of trousers I'll wear socks under the trousers or I might even wear tights under there and then I'll wear long boots like I said over the knee boots are really really good for that sort of thing because they keep you extra snuggly and warm then I'll wear a massive coat <laughs> with a big scarf and then I'll have earmuffs so basically I'm just trying to cover up every part of me as much as I can and now we're even wearing face masks so <laughs> and that's why I think that a roll neck whether it's cashmere or not is a really really important cold weather wardrobe essential because it's just keeping as much of you as possible away from the horrible winter winds. Since we're singing the praises of cashmere I'm going to move on to my next essential which is a cashmere scarf. I got this one from Reese. Again I got it back in the spring sale so really good time to pick up items like this you're going to save on them and you can just wear them next year especially if it's something that's in a really neutral timeless color like this it's like an eight milli color and it goes with absolutely everything again very very thin but keeps you really really snugly and warm whenever i put this on i feel really really cozy even on the bitterest of days i just don't notice the cold weather that much and because cashmere is so so slim and doesn't add much bulk under your coat you still feel really stylish as well you don't feel like just a little you know, like when you see cartoons of babies <laughs> and they're in those um, snow outfits and they're just like a little little puffball. You don't feel like that. You feel nice and, you know, well put together, but still really, really cosy. This is what the scarf looks like on. I think it's really, really gorgeous. It is very, very basic. And some people might think this color is a little bit boring, but I love to have neutral colors in my wardrobe that I know go with everything. One thing I've started to do is tucking it into my coat belt and tying the belt around it I think that's a really nice way to style the scarf there's a few different ways that you can do it to be a little bit more clever and make it feel a little bit more new every time that you wear it I'm not going to show you an example of this next wardrobe essential it's just a pair of opaque tights we all know what opaque tights look like but I honestly could not get through winter without them I know they're a bit boring <laughs> to talk about but 
Honestly, can you really see yourself getting through winter without a pair of opaque black tights? Unless you're Freddie My Love, who famously hates them. But I think the majority of us really understand the benefits of opaque tights, particularly black ones. They go with every single outfit. Like I said, it's a really good hack to put them on under your trousers. Normally you would think of just wearing them if you've got a bit of a leg on show, so maybe if you're wearing a dress and some boots. But I like to wear them under my trousers just to add a little bit of extra warmth. And what I also sometimes do is I actually wear two pairs of tights just to lock in as much heat as possible. It's also worth looking at the different styles of tights you can buy. You can buy tights that have like a fleecy layer on the inside to keep you really, really extra cosy. You can buy cashmere tights. I've already raved about the benefits of cashmere. But they're just so important in the colder months. I mean, I would not be wearing any dresses at all in winter if it weren't for my opaque black tights. They're a really great way to help transition clothes from the warmer to the colder months, particularly if you love to wear floral dresses. Just adding a pair of opaque tights and some ankle boots, maybe a leather jacket, is a really, really quick way of moving your summer clothing over to the colder months. And now finally, we come to my 10th cold weather wardrobe essential, which is a pair of wellies. I'm just going to pop a picture of wellies on the screen, I'm not going to show you mine because they are ridiculously muddy. As I said, <laughs> these wardrobe essentials are items that I reach for constantly in the colder months. So I am always in my wellies because we're walking the dog every day and we like to go to country parks and the woodland areas near us. So the safest thing to do is for me to always have my wellies with me whenever we go and walk the dog. So I won't be showing you them, but I really love the jewels wellies. Like I said earlier, I have quite wide calves, so it's quite hard for me to get traditional wellies on, you know, they're usually quite long, they're usually knee high, doesn't work for me. <laughs> but I got a pair of size five wellies from Jules and they do a lot of cropped wellies. So they're really a medium height, they kind of come up to mid calf and I can get those on absolutely fine. So if you're like me and you struggle to find wellies that fit, definitely check out Jules. And that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Let me know in the comments how many of these items you already have in your wardrobe. Let me know what's on your wish list and I will see you next time. Thank you so much, bye.